I work hard every card every day yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard I work hard every day yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but today is my day G coming along you already know G said he he packed up he got his uniform on my man right there Cow, KMB, come on, uh, 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 contracting, construction, baby. You see it? Hello, world. Let's go. Brand new shit off the lot. Come on, man, knock it off. People ain't playing no more. And by the way, that's uh, KMB construction. FYI, couldn't get it out so fast, but there it is. Fuck with him if you in the Madison area. He does try uh decks and everything like that, man. One one of my goddamn uh one of my good friends grew up with the guy. So his name's Kyle. And if you ever hit him, uh, you'll be pleased. You know what I'm saying? Call him up. Now, I'm out there, I'm out to show you. Look at that. Nothing but brand new trucks around here. Come on, man. All you see is action when you dealing with us. You feel me? All you doing is saying action. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing but commercial shit around here. And shit, that ain't his only one either. My man got like four new fucking brand new trucks with plows and everything on them. Get your weight up. We out of here, baby. Let's go. I might be jumping down. I might go get that at the beginning of the season for summer. I might go get that right there. But I don't know. I'm out, baby. You guys, take a look at what happened. The whole mount came off. Look at that. Jesus. Wow. Came clean off. They didn't, they didn't expect them. The well, that's, that's the safety net. The boat, the willow pop, the, the weld was to put it together on a jig, and then the bolts needed to be in there. Right. Yeah, we can. Can you take care of it, Can you take care of it, Jeff? Hell yeah. <laughs> you just got to get it inside. Cool. Let's do that. Yeah. So it been re-welded at a point? I think so. Down here in the bottom looks like the well's a little thicker than it. Yeah. You know. Well, what uh what price range are we talking about? Maybe 250. Damn, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Every time something breaks down, I'm thinking 250 or above. Instantly. Yes. Instantly. All Some right. Some of it's going to be just screwing around with that plastic piece. I'm not sure how that all is going to come off. I can't get it welded to that on there. Cool. All right. Well, have at her. All right. See you later. All right, Jeff.
look y'all same day Jeff comes in the clutch y'all look at that looks like a brand new fucking mouth <laughs> look, look at that back in action hey what's the name of the business uh uh, uh j and k uh manufacturing facts i'm talking about back in effect so you better have you some good guys on your team Look at that. Look at that. It's just amazing. I'm <laughs> talking about what? You guys, it's two degrees out here. And Jeff's out here working with no fucking gloves. I don't even know how he does it. Alright, now all we got to do is just lift this thing up and we on the money. Just did a move. Some of the things that some customers was throwing, you know, getting rid of. I say throwing away. You may say give away. Anyway, some rocks. You know, a boxer. Where, where is that box at? Oh, uh, right here. A boxer like, uh, you know, just fluids, oil pans and stuff right there. Johnny got some transmission fluid. You know. That's the good things about moves, man. You know. That's the trailer we moved it in. We had to move out our trail our, our moors though. That's the reason why you you probably confused what the hell we doing. But we took out the trailers to to get a uh you know some empty space there. I mean we took out the moors to get some, uh, some empty space in the trail. And then, you know, it's still plowing season, but you know what we got to do. It ain't nothing but once a two-step two process. Take out, take in. That's it. But, uh, yeah. That's about it, baby. Yeah, we here at the compound. Well, I call it the compound. Because this is where we keep all our shit. Well, some partial of it. And then, you know, look how we ride, man. We, we get dirty out there. You feel me? You feel me? Look, y'all, we just took that out. Now we didn't put it back. The moors, we got the moors in there. But look, y'all, look how we sitting heavy. Sitting heavy on them. Sitting heavy on them, cuz. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come on, man. We sitting heavy on them. 
I'm talking about, come on, man. You know, it ain't much, but we doing our thing. You know, we think it's something. As long as we think it's something, it's going to be something. Ain't that right, y'all? Hello. Hard work, dedication, motivation, determination fulfills the destination. Oh, yeah. That'll fit right up in my truck. Look, back, look how we just sat right back up, y'all, to the to the plow truck. It was that simple. This is how simple the move was. That man said put it on the softer. I believe it's gonna fit. Open that door. You should always, and I mean always, put some thought about what you're gonna do. And what Media platforms should the federal government step in and change the rules about how they're regulated? What do you think about the idea of treating them like public? What's your reaction to the type of speech that platforms themselves allow online? Six four two one two three four. That's eight hundred six four two one two three four. Or email ideas at wpr.org. Elizabeth Doskin is the Silicon Valley correspondent for the Washington Post. She's been covering social media companies and how they might be regulated under the Biden administration. Elizabeth, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thanks for having me. We'll take us back to.